Assalamu alaikum Hopians, welcome back into another lecture of Mathematics. Today we are going to discuss question number 9 and 10 of exercise 8a from book 1, 7th edition. Here I have mentioned book 1, class 7, exercise 8a, question number 9 and 10. Let's start it. What is the question number 9? What it said? So here in question number 9, what we need to do? We need to express the first quantity as percentage of second quantity. So what we have given actually, we have given two quantities, the first one and the second one. We need to find the, we need to express the first quantity as percentage of second quantity. Let's check out how to solve that. Suppose I have a question. The first one is I need to express 45 minutes as percentage of 1 hour and 1 kg as percentage of 8 gram. So first of all, we need to convert in the same unit. I'm going to solve the part first, part A, what it said, A part, I'm going to solve it. It said you need to convert 45 minutes as percentage of 1 hour. So first of all, 45 minutes and 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes. Is it what I need to do? How to get the percentage of first quantity as of second? I need to present. 45 first over second 60 multiplied by 100 what I got 450 because 45 times the 450 divided by what divided by 6 just divide it so in the C part I again have two values let's check out how to solve them I have 63 cents I need to express this term as the percentage of this term Let's write, I got dollar of 2.10 is equals to how many cents? 210 cents, is it? Why? Because, why? Because we know that 1 dollar is equals to 100 cents, is it? So 2.10 dollars is equal to 110 cents. Let's convert into percentage. 63 over 210 multiplied by 100 this will be cancelled with this what I got 630 over 21 plus divided 21 3 is the 63 21 look 21 3 is the 3 to the 3 to the 6 63 21 3 is 63 there it is I got 30 percent so basically this value 63 cents is a 30% of this value. Easy. Hope you got the point. The question is clear. Let's come towards question number 10. What it said, the question number 10. Find each of the following. We need to find the value of each of the following parts. What it said actually. Let's look towards part A. What it said. I need to find 6 whole 1 over 5 percent of 1.35 ml. It means I need to find this percent of this value. What will be that person actually? This value ka itne percent kitne quantity hogi? 1.35 ml ka itne percent kitne ml hoga? That's what we need to find. Let's solve it. Solution here. First of all, we need to convert this fraction into simple form. We know that simply just multiply 5 see the 30 plus 1. I got 31 over 5 percent of what? Of 1.35 ml is a quantity in milliliters. Let's convert this fraction or this percentage open it. 31 over 5. You remember as we convert this percentage into simple form, we just simply divided by 100 or in the denominator we multiply with 100 because if you remember. 3% is equals to 3 over 100 so x percent is equals to x over 100 similarly this percent means this over 100 of what into 1.35 ml is it so what we need to do you can cut out different values you can make a use of dmas rule we first need to divide then multiply is it so we can say that 31 over 500 into 1.35 ml is it or you can make it more simple if you want we can write it like 
31 over 500 into 135 over 100. I just removed this decimal value, decimal sign and I got 100 here. Okay, gee, what we can do? You can multiply, you can cut out, you can do whatever you want. It's all up to you and the answer will be 5 1 is 5, 5 2 is 10, here's a 13, 3 will be carry, 5 7 is 35. So what I got? 27 and here 100. 100 to 100, you know that it's 10,000. Is it 27 to 37 over 10,000? That's the value I need to find. Part A. Okay, let's solve this one part. Part D, what it said, we need to find 2000% of 5 cents. Okay, if you have given 5 cents and I said I need to find the 2000% of this 5 cents. Remember, 100% is equal to that value. What we need to find? I'm going to find the 2000% of that value of 5 cents. Let's check out what is the value, how many dollars you got, or how many cents you got, 2000% of 5 cents. Let's check out. So, as we know, 2000% means 2000 over 100, multiplied by what? Multiplied by 5 cents. Is it? Two zeros will be cancelled with two zeros. What I have left? 25 is up. 520 into what? 100 what? Cents. But you can say that it's $1. As we know, 100 cents equals to $1. So 2000% of 5 cents is equals to $1. That's my answer. Well, I'm quite sure your concepts are clear now. What you need to do, you need to solve the remaining parts of question number 9 and 10. We have solved the sum of the parts. That's all the lecture for today. Inshallah, I will see you in the next lecture.